Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prof. Vigent. I was in the store today and I saw this very interesting food-related phenomenon. Something appears to be amiss in the bottle on the end. Looking closer, you can see that there's a very large chunk of ice in the top of the bottle. You'll also notice this ice doesn't look mango madness flavored. That's because when something goes from liquid to solid, its lowest energy configuration is a crystal. If freezing happens rapidly, a crystal might not have a chance to form. But if it happens slowly, as was probably the case here, with this stuck in the back of a fridge, the water forms a crystal lattice, which initially is able to exclude sugar and flavors because they disrupt the pattern. If we drop the temperature low enough, or drop the temperature quickly enough, or both, we can get the sugar and flavors trapped in the solution. Configuration here is less thermodynamically favorable, which means it'll melt at a lower temperature. You can see this here with these melted ice pops. We have some chunks of nearly pure water ice and intensely sugary flavor syrup surrounding them. This is why crystallization is a popular purification technique for things like pharmaceuticals, sugar, and salt. If you cool slowly, you'll be able to pull out nearly pure crystals of your desired product, or ice, while leaving behind a slurry that's concentrated in your undesirable solutes. That doesn't work to our advantage here, however, where we'd have a syrupy drink followed by solid water, flavorless ice. Your best hope to keep flavor suspended throughout something like an ice pop is to freeze very rapidly, which leads to the molecules having no time to arrange themselves in a crystal. You get an amorphous solid, which unfortunately will probably melt rather quickly, but at least it'll taste good in the meantime. Thanks for watching.